Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to model a scotch glass. I recently seen this image on the internet and it seems the type of image that a lot of people would be scared of in trying to modeling it. Like when you first look at it you see a lot of shapes, a lot of edges, a lot of cuts. Then it transitions smoothly into a round surface and you just feel like it's uh, a... <laughs> It's more of a sculpting job than a sub demodeling one. But today I'm going to show you how to model one. If we look here, it has a really beautiful design. It starts off with a really low poly cylinder. I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ish faces. And then it transitions into this sixth face cylinder and then it goes into this really nice round ending so let's try to start working we're gonna add a cylinder we're gonna put it right here I'm gonna give it nine rotation segments make it a little bit bigger I'm gonna go to the font tag and say 15 And let's first optimize it. Now let's try and make just the first part. So we can see that we have one face that is cut, another face that is cut, and then we have this face that becomes a triangle. So I'm thinking that it goes one, two, the third one is a triangle. So let's try this logic. One, two. This one is a triangle. One, two. This one is a triangle. One, two. This one is a triangle. Yeah. And then we get six faces. Perfect. Let me just delete the cap. Great. Here you can see that I found some images from different angles so it's easier to see the basic shape okay and now here we see that we have this nice edges that go and start forming the round shape that's on the top so what we are gonna do is we're gonna select the top edge extrude it and I want to get triangles. I really do want to get triangles. So instead of cutting it, I'm just going to take it down a bit, extrude it again, select only the top polygons, and press US. For US is subdivide. So creating polygons here, it created triangles to try and match the poly topologically the top part so now I can delete this polygons I'm gonna select the top row move move it up a bit actually I'm gonna make it the whole shape because we can see that the edges start start really strong and then they just fade out around here so now that I've done this I'm gonna KK select visible only just make a cut right here okay and now I'm just gonna add a subdivision surface now I want to thicken these edges but first of all let me just create the base of the glass we can see here that it has a real nice beveled base so I'm just gonna add a quick bevel yeah something like this I'm gonna select all of the edges edges and I'm gonna select these edges because I want them to be hardened okay I'm gonna press MS 
in here in bevel mode if we bevel like this we can see that we get this artifacting right in the corners and this won't look good so we're going to change it to solid so you can see it gives us some filling geometry just gonna bevel it something like this But if we look here, we have a shape that is way too um, way too angular. So I'm just gonna undo until the point we extrude up. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna control A, optimize, I'm gonna select the top half. The, the top part and I'm gonna say it points to circle so now yeah okay now they're a circular shape and now I'm gonna read you the steps that I did last time so I'm gonna cut them in the middle then I'm gonna bevel this part okay now I'm gonna select the edges I'm gonna select these edges as well. Okay, so now we're just gonna extrude, I mean bevel. We're gonna select solid. Right around here. Don't mind this, we're gonna fix it afterwards. Add subdivision. Oh, and we forgot to add, if we look here, we can see that this has some nice cuts. So let's just add those. Visible only. One here, one here, one here, here, and here. Now we're going to resave again to get all of those cuts as well. Something like this. Way better. And now we're going to go here. We're just going to... We're going to weld these points together. See, so we get... So the shape kind of disappears. Instead of going and then coming back. So we're going to do this for all of the sides. And what we could do, we could select the top just round it a bit okay this looks really good what we could do now is we could just come here and add some edge loops so you know could we add yeah we could add some edge loops here and here. Just so we harden some specific edges. See? So this looks way better when we have one soft, one hard. If you would want to sharpen these edges, we could try the easy way. Let's take this edge, just that one. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, too extreme. Or we could just make a cut, so just KK. Uh, with visible only off. We'll 
approaches like these pieces. Confess T to extrude them out a bit. Yeah, so they protrude more. Or we could select all of this edge and then just round it a bit. So now, yeah, I liked it better before. Yeah. To scale them up a bit. So now we're just going to take the glass. We're going to actually, let's just lower this a bit. Kind of like so, then extrude it upward. We're just going to add a thickness, like so. Take it down, we are can bevel it inner, move it down a bit. Now we could add some support edge loops. And here's our scotch glass. What we could do is, I would love to scale this out a bit. Okay, I'll just select this top part, scale it out a bit as well. And done. Or I could just select this part, scale it in so it's nice and straight. Select this edge, make it straight as well. Something like this. Just go here, scale this in a bit. Scale this part in as well. Okay, perfect. Now we can add an FFD forward and I could just add yeah something like actually I think three is enough. Just scale this. something like this and I could just make the whole shape so this I could scale it back we're just trying to get a nice angular shape let's go this back a bit perfect So now let's just make a quick render. I'm gonna drag in a wood texture. I'm gonna add a floor. Let's just see from what angle. 
is the render at. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna rotate it something like this. Or something like so. Okay. I'm gonna add the wood texture. Just gonna put it on cubic, seamless, and now we're gonna rotate the texture ninety degrees. We're going to scale it like so. We're going to go into the editor view. We're going to say 2K resolution so we can have a better look in the viewport. I like this better. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, something like this. Now we will add a background. We're going to make it a clean white. Now we're just going to add a <coughs> glass texture. We're going to sharpen the specular a bit. Okay, something like this. I'm going to add a Beckman. Okay, so let's try disabling the reflection layer. Let's go to transparency, actually no back to reflectance, make this a little bit sharper, take it down. Okay, let's add a little bit of blur to the reflection. I mean to the transparency. Okay, so it's starting to look better. So now we're just gonna try to simply exit reflections and just disable the blurriness for rendering scale. Okay, let's go. Let's just add uh, liquid. So we're gonna go here. Just gonna select. Yeah, I do that amount. UP. Just close it off. We're going to create a new material. Actually, let me go to the glass and disable color. Great. Uh, transparency. Let's just try 1.33. Absorption color 
a really soft yellow and the absorption distance is 75 it's quite a material this um oops uh something like this Did I accidentally remove the, the background color? I think I did. Enable subdivision. Let's have a render. Okay. Just going to go here and gonna add it up a bit yeah something like this let's just get a little bit of red let's say 50 <clears throat> go reflections add a Beckman yeah way better great now all we have to do is fiddle around a bit with uh, glass. What if I put it 1.2? How would that affect it? Okay, okay, looking better. Let me just add some ambient occlusion to the mix. I just want to darken this up a bit. I really don't like the yellow feel. Okay. So this is looking better. Now what I want to do is I want to go into the glass material. I want to go here and let me just add a a sharp reflection. Now let's add, I'm going to add a camera so we remember our position. We're just going to add some lights, some target lights. Let me go curl on it. Let me just raise them up a bit or down. Hmm. Okay, and let's see what kind of specular do we get now. Okay, so we can see that this looks pretty good, but I want to get more details here. We've worked a lot on this part, and I think I know how we can do this. I think I'm going to have to remake the interior, the glass. So I'm just going to remove the texture, so you can see it. I'm just going to go here, and because you can see that this has some really cool shapes, but the interior is just round. So I'm just going to go, and I'm just going to select this edge. Okay, and now I'm going to copy this material, this object, so I'm going to select it from here, I'm going to use the fill selection, select the bar, and press UP to create a new object. I'm just going to take this object and I'm going to scale it, okay, something like so, and I'm going to select our glass, just say connect and delete. And now we could select this edge, save this edge, use the stitch and stow 
option just bridge them together can we mm, no okay no problem we can't because first of all we need to extrude this out a bit and to use the stitch and stow option you need to have the same amount I mean to use it correctly because you can see I could use it before but the results weren't so good so you need to have the same number of points or edges on the same sides if you want to use the stitch and stew stitch and stop stitch and sew okay so let's try this again control click perfect and now we will need to delete the drink because the shape has changed so let's see we're gonna select it kind of from yeah this level okay so kind of around here Let's slowly select our liquid, then using the fill selection tool, select the rest. UP. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to come here and just close this off. This one is going to be the liquid. This one's going to be the glass. Let's render this again. So now because the interior of the glass has the exact same shape, you can see that we're getting really beautiful refractions here. So this looks way better than it did before. Now, okay, what problems do we have? We're seeing this defragmentation appear. So let's just go back. Let's see what we can do. Oh, what if, if I scale this a little bit down? What if I go here? Oh, and let's add some hardening edges. Okay, let's go back, render again, let me just add the material, okay, so we're not seeing any bubbles, come on, yeah, This looks great. Let me just go here, uh, remove the texture again. Let's see if I can just go here and say glass. Will I get better results? I won't if I don't apply the texture first. And if I don't apply, wait, uh, yeah, so I accidentally changed the reflection on the liquid. So glass, refraction, 1.517, apply the material.
so we have a really beautiful look let's see do we have ambient occlusion enabled yes we do let's disable this so it would render a little bit faster yeah a lot faster We just go here, say general, shadow, soft, render again. Okay. Now I'm thinking I want to play a little bit with the specular. So. I'm going to pop out of my camera, I'm going to take this light, I'm just going to create some copies. But I'm going to take these copies and I'm going to say no illumination, but I want specular. So I'm just going to enable the color a bit, and I'm going to select the slides and try to move them a little bit. Let's see, does this affect my specular no select them again and we're going to disable diffuse and now yeah they are affecting specular so now we can take these slides and just move them until we create some cool specular hits that we would like to have on our model. Maybe like so. Okay, something like Yeah, yeah, let me just take this far out. Let me enable Transparency disable color. I like this part. I think I'm gonna go here and tell this guy no specular. We've got the specular from this side. Select where's this light? Uh, no, I want to select this light and disable specular. Let's see how this works. Okay, so I'm going to take this light and I want to move it something like so. Okay, what if I add a reflective layer? I'm going to add it to add. Okay, now what if I disable these two lights? Better or worse? 
because in some points you need a little bit of darkness to get some nice, yeah, see what we got here, some nice cool effects. Okay, I do feel that this part is a little bit too overwhelmed. So I'm just gonna go to this guy. I'm just gonna reduce the intensity. Yeah, something like this. Okay, what if I reduce the transparency just a bit? So you can start getting some reflections. How would that look? Yeah, so we're not getting a decent effect, so we're just going to bump up the transparency and we're going to disable reflection. Okay. Now, let's just go around and start playing with our specular lights. So I'm going to click this guy. Like so. I'm going to create a copy because I want to get some reflections here as well. So let's see how can we do that. We'll just go here and disable the target. Just try rotating this. I'm going to enable color disable transparency and I'm just going to go here and I'm going to try to rotate this light I see this specular bump and I'm really interested to see what light causes it Okay, so it's this light. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to disable diffuse, enable specular. Enable specular here as well. I'm going to go here and just pump this up. Like so. Mm. Let's try this out. Hmm. Let's add a normal light. Let's see, is this easier to work with? Okay. Something like this. Disable the diffuse. And without it. Hmm. So does the diffuse really affect 
the specular. Yeah, it does. So the specular without the diffuse isn't as potent. Maybe I just need to go to our texture and just say, give us a little bit more spec. And that's too much specular, so we're going to take it down. Maybe some fall off. So this is with fall off and without fall off. Yeah, so we do need a bit. Just select these slides. Just to start. Uh, what I could do is I could just start disabling. Oops, I could just start disabling the slides. You know, just removing them. And then I could create a new rig of slides. That would be just for the specular intake. Okay, so I'm just going to remove this slide. Let's just render out to see that we didn't break anything. Hmm. I really like this. This X. Right here, let me see what affects it. Let's see which light is giving us that cool X. I think this one is. Yeah, and I just want it to be a little bit more. Yeah, so I wanted it to be a little bit more soft so we can still see through the glass. Awesome. So, let's get out of here. Add a new target light. Move it here. Oops. Uh, move it here. Then we're going to add another one. Another one, another one, and another one. And I'm going to add them in a null. I'm going to press cell. I'm going to move the null point right here on the glass. And let me just take a random. Okay. Select all of them. Disable diffuse. Okay. What if I move them down? Something like this. Yeah, we're getting bombarded by lights. So, something like this. Let me rotate. Okay.
Perfect. Okay, this is awesome. Great. Now, what we'll do is we just try to. What if I move them down? Okay, so they get. How up can I move them into? Uh, okay, like this. And I'm just going to take one of them and see which which uh, setting is this one. Okay, so they have the rainbow. So I'm going to save all of them. What if I reduce the other angle a bit? Yeah, something like this. Okay, and what if I send them back a bit? And now down. Let's see which one of them contributes to that specular bit right there. Okay, so it's this one. So I can just disable the other ones. Okay. Okay. So let's just go here. Let's add ambient occlusion. Go to anti-aliasing best max level 2 times 2 uh, let's say 25 let's give it a render okay so the render is done it took way less than I expected it only took 2 minutes and 12 seconds great render looks really nice and this is basically how you model this type of design on a scotch glass and get a really cool render. Thanks for listening. See ya.